only thing that determines the health of our children is the health of our planet. And every choice we make each day in our business, in our home, in our individual choices impacts that. And I really want women and especially mothers to empower themselves with the knowledge that we need because we are fighting not for the future of our children's lives, but for their present today. You know, the AQI today in Bombay is over, two, over 258, which is really bad. Eventually, inhaling polluted air is going to create all kinds of complications in our children's lives. And as mothers, it should be our top priority. Call out people who are doing bad things to the environment. Support governments and organizations that are helping improve the state of the environment. And think of all the things we can, as individuals, do in our everyday lives to improve the state of the environment. So yeah, I really wanted to share that with everyone today. Thank you. I just, it's a hard fact, but you must have all heard about the Paris Agreement, right? Many nations came together to sign a document that basically promised the world that we would not allow the climate, the temperature to rise above 1.5 degrees because that <coughs> essentially means that the world that we inhabit will be totally different. It will not be livable for us. We will not know the world the way we know it. We will not know seasons the way we know them. We will not experience the goodness that nature has bestowed on us the way we know it. According to a recent report, given the rate of carbon emissions in 2022, we're looking at a 1.5 degree rise within the next nine years. That should be a shake up and a wake up call for everyone everywhere. And if it isn't for our political leaders, then we have to make damn sure as parents that we make sure it is. So I love you, Dia. I love you. Anyone who knows me and follows my page here knows exactly why I'm saying this. Because, you know, I understand that we can't... Okay, I'm going to speak for myself. I would love to be as sustainable and care about the planet as much as I can, which I do, God knows I do. I can't necessarily be 100% plastic free, but what I can and what each one of you can make sure that you do is that you're mindful. Mindful of the things you're buying, mindful of the things you're using. There's so many amazing options out there. I'm just gonna throw a name of a brand. There's a brand called Refillable. Every household product of yours can be ordered from Refillable in glass bottles and they take it back and it's amazing. Things like balloons, you know, people used to be like, oh, it's a bit lame that you don't have balloons at your kid's birthday party. It's a small, it's, I mean, uh, out of the hundred decor things there, a hundred percent, hundred percent, and and I refuse to have balloons at my kid's party. And you know, my husband asked me once, you know, what if he looks at uh, balloons everywhere else and says, oh, why aren't you giving? Now he actually looks at balloons and very well knows the answer. They're destructive to the planet. He's not even five. He knows the answer because it's our duty to. Yes, we want those perfect Instagram pictures. It's my kid's party tomorrow. I want a perfect Instagram picture, but it can be perfect without waste and without balloons and without all of that stuff. There's a lot of things we can do if we just are a little bit mindful. And just like Dia said, I literally urge each one of you to please think before you know, you buy stuff. Think about what it is you're buying. Things may cost a little bit more money. You know, everyone complains about, oh, my child is sick, my child is coughing again, the air sucks, where do we live, what a country, what a city, blah, blah, blah. Yet comes Diwali and everyone wants to burst crackers. Why, guys? Why? Like, and, and if, you know, Tanya, are you here? Where are you? No, Tanya. Tanya, Khup Chandani, oh, she just left. Okay, so Tanya and I put out a reel about, um, you know, a very sweet reel about how we shouldn't burst crackers this Diwali. Trolled, we were attacked. <laughs> it was a disaster. I was like, are you guys even kidding me? Like, why is this even like a fight right now? You know, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous fight. My kids had a great time. They took all their laser lights to the terrace and they had a light show of their own and we played and we had fun and they don't, and they didn't have to deal with that air and they didn't have to deal with being a cause of ruining the planet further. So, I mean, what you do is amazing. I don't do half of what you do, but 
I'm trying and each one of us needs to try. Make that little, just, you know, improve even 5% more every month with what you did the previous month and you're gold and we're gold, but we all have to make that change. And, and just to add, uh, you know, we have Nikki here who's like hiding in the background as always. So Nikki and her husband Sandeep Singh have actually started us something called Blue Tribe Foods, right? Which is, uh, you know, a plant-based meat alternative, which again, by the way, you know, meat is actually a very large source of carbon emissions as we all know, right? Um, and I, I, you know, I just saw you there and I was hearing both of them speak and I was like, you know, so if anyone's interested in talking more on this subject as well, I mean, I think there are enough and more people who are really passionate. Yeah, session. session on this. <laughs> there are enough and more. Okay, I'm just going to pass the mic to Nisha now. <laughs> and then we're going to pass the mic around to you all, okay? It's a simple question. Don't overthink it. Speak from your heart. What superpower would you want to have as a mom? I think I want to be omnipresent. I want to be a helicopter parent without having that <laughs> title. I want to watch every time what Kavish is doing. And I want to be a working mom and have all those aspirations and ambitions like a normal human. Yeah. You know, that's all. I'm sure most of us want that. Why can't there be cameras in our school? Yes. See what's happening. Yes. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, we're going to pass the mic on to you all now. And tell us what superpower you would want to have. Yeah, hi, I'm Mickey. I'm a content creator of Mom on Trial. So one superpower I feel is very less because our wish list is always too big. But if I come to the first one is um, like I want to really, really understand at times what goes in my child's mind because now they are not completely protected by us. They are exposed to so many things and at times I want to be at the same page of what he's thinking. So if I get that power, awesome. thank you. Hi, I would want to be invisible. So <laughs> I, I'm going to be a mom of a teenager in some time. So I do. Yeah, so yeah, so exactly, something similar. So I would definitely want to be invisible and I want to just uh, raid on and spy on him all the time. Okay, so hi, I'm Vinny. So the superpower which I want to have is, you know, having that mind on and off button because whenever we are out, we are sitting here still, the mom mind is always tuck, 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 tuck. So I want to have a superpower of on and off button with my mind. Uh, so after, like, let's conclude the sharing circle here, but moms, like, we would love to record a sound bite with you. So once we're done, please come on the stage and tell us uh, the superpower that you would like to have. Uh, now I would like to call Kriyan on the stage. Kriyan? Uh, Mona, can we get the check, please? and uh, announce the winner of who's. Yeah. So thank you so much for being oh, here. Thank amazing. You. Uh, would Shashank, would you like to come on the stage and uh, announce the winner of like, I'm so excited to hear this. And I'm, <laughs> I'm also, and okay, I know all of you guesses? are waiting. I mean, you guys have been at it. Any guesses who's going to win? <laughs> Shreya's working for the L'Occitane Pass here, guys. Can't you all see it? Oh, you want both? Okay, Shreya wants to win everything. Why not? 100%. Jihal. Jihal Pahar. Kriyan. <laughs> so 
Priyan, we just fill this check up and send it across. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. In Jeenal's name. Guys, once again for Jeenal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't worry, L'Occitane winners will be announced after another five minutes, okay, guys? <laughs>
I think it is definitely difficult, but I'm not going to glorify this difficulty because I feel being a mum itself is a thing of pride. I feel, yes, I, I feel blessed that I am in this position where I can be a mum because in today's world, there are so many women who are struggling, you know, to become mothers. And uh, I just have a lot of gratitude in my heart. So I'm not going to complain. We all do it as mothers. Our mothers have done it. Our mothers' mothers have done it. So, you know, it's, it's a big deal and yet it's not because it's amazing. Thank you. So I'm very excited when someone talks about my YouTube channel because yeah. it's very new. Halaki, it's been there for a couple of years now, but last two, three years I hadn't posted any content and I've just become active. It's been about five weeks only and a new journey of vlogs have come up and right from motherhood space to what's happening behind the scenes of my, of my shoot and stuff. So it's nice, it's fun. I'm getting to connect with a new audience because YouTube ki audience is slightly different compared to the Instagram audience and I am more of an Instagram person. I have a bigger presence on Instagram than on YouTube but it's nice to start from scratch to connect with people and people are actually responding very well. So I'm happy. It's new, it's fresh and it's nice. So at the moment, I'm planning to definitely um, work on my YouTube channel, like I said, that that takes in a lot of time because I have two releases every week and in the last uh, five weeks, I've done about 10 releases. So I travel for that, I plan my content, I reach out to people, you know, I connect. So that is primarily happening. But all because things are going on and right now is not the right time to speak about it, but it's going to come up soon and you guys are all going to be happy soon. So, you know, this time I really don't know much about Big Boss. Jab bhi mujhe koi question poochta hai, but my mum's a very big fan of Big Boss. So, aate jaate mujhe TV mein kuch na kuch sunai deta hai. And Abdu, when he went to the show, I know that Abdu is a part of it. I also know a couple of people who are a part of it, but I haven't been ardently following it. But I find Abdu very cute because I recently started following him on uh, Instagram and I got to know of his presence at, uh, just about a week or two before he went to Big Boss. I think he's sweet and he's so talented. So, in industry, we have so many times that we know each other. Even if we don't know each other personally, we know of each other. So, uh, I wouldn't want to say much about it because I don't want to judge anybody on the basis of how they are behaving in a reality show because they all have different reasons to behave how they are behaving. Maybe they are not like that in their real life, but they want to survive for professional reasons or whatever their reasons might be fame or money or to each their own. So, I don't want to comment on something like that. Thank you so much. So nice to see you.